Hi, in this video, we're going to learn the timeline and the layer system in a light motion. Okay, so I'm going to tap on the light motion icon over here. So this is how it opens up. So right now I'm working on an Android phone, but you can be on any device, Android or iPhone. It really doesn't matter because there is no difference between a light motion on Android and a light motion on an iPhone. So let's get started. So to create a new project, you need to tap on the plus icon right down at the bottom here. So let's go ahead and tap. And this is, you get some menu options over here. You can change the name of the project. You can select the aspect ratio over here. So I can select 16 by nine and resolution. I'm going to go ahead and keep it as 1080p. You can go up to 4K, but I'm going to select 1080p and frame rate. You can select from 12 FPS to 60 frames per second. I'm going to select 30 frames per second and background. You can select black, white, gray. So I'm going to select as white. And let's go ahead and tap create project and here we have a brand new blank project to start with okay so this area you can see this white color area is the project area and this is where we add all our stuffs in it and right down this section is the timeline and the layer system all right so on the top over here you can see name of the project over here and if i want i can rename the project so i can select over here and let's go ahead and call this as my first project all right so let's say okay and over here we have some more menu systems i'm going to be covering later but for now to insert anything in this project we need to tap on the plus icon right down over here so let's tap plus and here we have a lot of menus over here so you can insert shapes you can see we have some shapes over here there are some pages of shapes over here that comes with a light motion and then you can insert images and videos to the project you can insert audios to the project elements i'm going to be covering later but let's get started with the shapes first of all so i'm going to tap on shapes and here we have some shapes over here so i'm going to tap on this circle so let's tap and here we have a circle added to our project with the name circle one you can see here as soon as i added the circle a layer has now been added to our timeline so this is what is called a timeline and by default we get a layer of two seconds. So you can see here it is of two seconds. And by default, we get a name circle one, default name circle one. So if I tap on the circle one layer, that circle gets highlighted in the canvas over here. And also we get some menu options we're gonna be covering later. But over here on the top, you can see the name of the circle one. This is where you can rename the layer. So I'm gonna call this as will. So let's rename this to will and let's say okay and you can see this layer has now been renamed to will to get rid of this menu options over here i'm going to tap elsewhere anywhere to see this plus icon so let's go ahead and tap on plus once again and i'm going to insert a rectangle to the project now let's say tap and now here you can see we get a rectangle with some random color so you will get different colors and you can change the color over here and i'm going to go here and change it to maybe this orange all right, so let's go ahead and now also you can see the default name is rectangle one and the length of the layer is of two seconds. So I'm gonna tap on rectangle one and go ahead and change the name on the top and let's call this as box and let's say, okay. And here you can see we have the renamed layer box. So you can see this box is on top of the wheel. So you can see this is how the layer system is so if i want to see if i want to move the box below wheel you need to tap on the icon over here the hamburger icon on the right corner so you need to long press and then drag down so you can long press and drag you can see here the wheel is now on top of the box if i tap on box i'm going to increase the size a little somewhat about this size you can see the the circle is now on top of the box now if i want to bring the box again onto the top i can tap on here and then long press and drag it onto the top now the box is on top of wheel so i'm going to undo it so that we get the wheel back all right so now let's go ahead and add some images and videos to our project so it's the same process i need to tap on the plus icon at the bottom and go to images image and videos over here and you can see all the images and videos available on your device so I'm going to tap on the soccer ball. You can see a soccer ball has now been added. And I'm going to make this a little smaller with my two fingers. I'm just going to pinch it out. And you can see we have an image added to our project. 
Now let's go ahead and add a video file. So tap on this plus and go to image and videos. And I'm going to insert this video file. You can see we have a juggler going on doing some juggling just like this. First of all, bring the video file right down at the bottom. So let's go ahead and bring it right down at the bottom so that we can see the rest of the video files, the layers. All right, so now here I can see the video layer over here at the bottom. It is of uh, four seconds and two frames, but rest of the layers, they are of two seconds. You can see here all the layers, the circle, the soccer, and the rectangle, the box, they are of two seconds. So if I want to increase all this layer to the length of the project, so first of all, what I'm going to do is with my two fingers, I'm going to squeeze the layers over here. You can see here, I can squeeze the layer system over here, the timeline, or I can stretch it, make it longer, okay? Depending upon the need, I can either stretch it with my two fingers or I can squeeze it. So I'm going to squeeze it to somewhat about small size so that we can see everything together. So something like this. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and place the playhead on the timeline onto the right onto the end of the project okay now i'm gonna tap on the soccer layer on the top so let's tap you can see a menu option pops up so the first two options you can see here if i tap on this it's gonna stretch the length of the layer to wherever is the playhead is located so the playhead is located right at the end of the project which is four seconds and two frames so if i tap you can see here the soccer is layer is now increased till the end of the project. I'm going to undo it. If I position the soccer, the playhead around at three seconds. Now this time, if I stretch it, you can see it will go only until wherever is the playhead is located. All right. So I'm going to undo it and I'm going to position the, the playhead at the end and then tap. You can see it goes to the end. Now, if I undo it and show you about this option, so if I tap on this option while this is selected, this soccer layer, so let's say tap, you can see this layer has now been moved from this position to this position. So it will not stretch. It will simply move to wherever is the playhead is located. So I'm going to undo it and let's go ahead and tap on this layer. I'm going to increase, I'm going to stretch the length of the layer. So let's tap. And now I'm going to tap on the wheel as well. So let's say tap. And now I'm going to tap on the box. Let's say tap. And here we can see all the layers are now stretched to four seconds and two frames. So let me very quickly reposition these shapes. I'm going to tap on the circle and go to move and transform. I'm going to reposition it, go to box over here and go to move and transform. And I'm going to reposition so that we can see all the layers over here. Now you can see we got all the layers with four seconds and two frames. Okay, so let's move on to some trimming function. So I'm gonna come here, position the playhead to somewhere at the center of the layers over here and tap on any layer. Maybe I'm gonna tap on the soccer layer over here. And as soon as I tap, you can see we get some menu options over here. But let me go ahead and long press this and I'm gonna decrease, you can see here, if I long press, I can now increase or decrease the length of the layer. All right, just like this. I'm gonna decrease the length of the layer, something like this. And now you can see, the menu options have now changed. So whenever the playhead is in the same layer, but it's not touching that layer, the menu options will be either you can stretch it or you can move that layer to wherever the playhead is located. But if you move the playhead on top of the layer, wherever, whatever is the layer length is, the menu options will change. Okay, if I move it here, you can see stretch and move. If I move it onto the layer itself, you can see the menu options, the trimming options you get. So the first one is trim to the left. So if I said tap, you can see it is now trim to the left of the playhead. So let's undo it. If I go here and tap, it will be trimmed to the right. Okay, let's say undo. And the center one is if I trim, you can see here it is split. It's going to split the layer into two different layers, just like this. All right, so let's go ahead and undo it. I'm going to move it over here and I'm going to tap on this and let's go ahead and increase the length of the layer just like this. Now you can also do some multi-select of layers. So I'm going to come to the beginning of the timeline and I'm going to tap on long press on any of the layers. So you can see as soon as I do long press, that layer becomes highlighted into green. Okay, also in the canvas, that particular layer gets highlighted with some green bounding box. So now I can tap on the thumbnail again on just tap. You don't have to long press. And then you can see the circle is now highlighted also over here. And tap on this. You can see here they are now all highlighted. Now 
I can go ahead on the layer system. Now I can long press on any layer, you can see. I can long press, I can now move all these three layers together, okay? So we can move or left to the right, wherever you want. All right, so I'm gonna undo it. And if you want to make some trimming as well, you can do it. So I'm gonna come here and tap on the last layer as well, and come here to around three seconds on the timeline. And over here, you can see there are some options as well. So you can multi-select all the layers and then also trim down. So I can now trim to the right or trim to the left. So I'm gonna trim to the right. So let's trim to the right. And now it's gonna take off those right portion from the playhead here. And now let's go ahead and deselect all the layers. Let's go on to the top over here and say deselect on this cross symbol. It goes away and let's go ahead and play our video file. Let's go ahead and tap. You can see here we get this play. Now you can see here, over here, it is that toggle button. If I long press this play button, you can see here, it's gonna turn into something else. You can see here, this is a play button. If I play now, it's gonna play the video file and then it's gonna stop right at the end, okay? So this is, if I long press it once again, you can see long press. Now you will have some bounding boxes over here. And now if I play, you can see this is a loop. So it's not gonna stop. It's gonna come here and then it's gonna play back. It will continuously, it will play back. So to get out of this loop playback, you need to long press and then it's gonna come back. So pause it and then long press and that, that bounding box should go away. Just the play icon over here, it will simply play and it will not loop. Right, so this is it about the timeline and the layer system in a light motion. And from our next video,